Hey everyone, good morning. It is Friday, which means it is yard sale day. And on Fridays, I usually wake up a little bit later, um, but I always check Craigslist to see if there's any yard sales or estate sales or anything like that going on. And today, there's about six or seven of them, maybe eight that are right in my area. So I'm gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna go check out these, uh, these sales. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we won't. Most likely we won't. But I always like to film an intro anyway, just in case we find something good and I need to make a video. So hope you guys enjoy it. All right, we're at the first yard sale. I'm shooting in uh, 60 FPS now. It should be a little bit nicer. You shouldn't get as dizzy anymore, hopefully. Hey, good morning. Good, how are you? That's probably a good deal right there. I've got a tent though and they don't resell very well. And I separated it to kind of make sense here. I think these are okay. singles, and then this has earrings and necklaces, all of that. Okay, awesome. And then these are just some kind of unique little pieces. All right. Yeah, I like to look for little pieces of like silver or, you know. Um, just... I do have some silver. I'm not sure on these, per the pearls, but I let me see here. I do have a thing of silver and gold. Let me see where they're at. Well, I'd be interested in looking at that and giving you what it's worth. Okay, so if she says that, I will. Yeah, I'll give you my number. And... My, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that lady had some jewelry and stuff, but. Uh, it was, there was no real gold or anything in there, but she did say that she had some jewelry uh, that she put on the side and she's going to let me look through and I told her I'd give a fair value for it, give her my number and stuff, and she'll be texting me, um, not today, but some other day. All right, we're at the next sale here. Looks like they got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's go check it out. I just bought one of these. Darn it. I will hawk. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. We have a drag strip around here, too, somewhere. All right, no luck at that last one, but I saw this one here. It was just a sign. It wasn't on my list, so since it's not on the list, it means less pro people have probably looked through things, so I might have a better, find a better deal. You have some pretty cool old vintage stuff here. I think I'd be able to resell this stuff. I think I can. So you said, uh, for the, would you take five for the can? Five? Hey, Cause I'll, I'll buy some other stuff too. I'm gonna do some, research, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna research this stuff on eBay and then I'll, I'll take a look at this. Uh... Oh, this is cool. It's $85. I'm gonna look it up on eBay and see what it's worth real quick, and I'll give them an offer if it's if it's worth it. I'd still give them what they're asking, but uh, yeah, let's see if it's more valuable. Okay, guys, I got a nice cast iron pan. I'm not gonna resell it. This is actually, I needed a smaller size like this for myself. So five bucks, you can't go wrong. This Singer adjustable zigzag attachment here 
They sell for like 40 bucks all day on eBay. I got it for $2. And I also got this uh, lot of old vintage buttons. I mean, some of these old buttons could be more valuable and they, these seem pretty darn old. She said it was her grandpa's. So I mean, who knows how old this stuff is. So, uh, but, and either way, old vintage buttons, like this amount, selling for, you know, 30 bucks on eBay all day. I got it for five bucks. Pretty good. So uh, we'll go to the next one. All right, we're at the next yard sale here. And that fire extinguisher from the last one, I looked at it on eBay and they were asking $85 for it. And they're selling on eBay for about 100 to $150. Um, and so, I mean, I could have probably made a profit on that, but it was kind of bulky and I didn't really want to, uh, have to deal with shipping it and stuff. So I left it go. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How you doing today? Uh, slow. Got any good stuff for sale? So I ring for sale. All right. You know, I like to always ask for coins. I li I'm a coin collector. So I ask if you have any coins for sale, old guitars, uh, jewelry, I see you have some jewelry and stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Got some old pipes and stuff. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you know, I like to look look for stuff. Oh, these are, you know what those are? Those are old food stamps. Yeah. From like the 70s. And my mom had these. Yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't seen those since I was a kid. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to browse around and maybe buy some stuff. Hi, puppy. Hi. You want to be petted, I can tell already. Yes. <laughs> oh, they all love it, don't they? Yes. They just, they're scarred for a Yeah, right, like they're ignored. You know? Exactly. Poor thing never gets any attention anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew more about baseball cards. Well, <laughs> what would you take for the baseball cards? I have no idea. My wife should be coming out in the second coffee, you know. Okay, I'll put those on the side then. Yeah. No one's looked through them on a thing in years, so it could be. You yeah, know. you never know. That's what I like to look for, like, you know, little pieces of silver and stuff, and you never know. All right, so I got everything for 30 bucks. I got all these baseball cards. Uh, the one other customer here, I asked them. They seemed to know what they were looking at, and they said, no, nah, it's like mostly 90s. Probably junk, unless there's like a Michael Jordan or something in there. So we'll look through that uh, later on in the video. I got this little box for two bucks. And there is absolutely all kinds of silver in here. These things right here. Like so much silver. These are all silver. The drawers are full of different pieces of metal that looked possibly silver. We're going to look at it closer once I get back just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure that... Now, most of this stuff is sterling silver, so yeah, cool. That's definitely a score. 30 bucks. There's probably an ounce of silver in here. Right now, an ounce of silver is like, I think, 40 bucks. I could be totally wrong on that. I haven't looked at it in a while, but it's a score. It's, uh, going good so far. All right, here's another one. Not on the list, but I saw the sign, so had to stop. Yeah, I'm actually looking for, I like to look for little, you know, silver pieces or little, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't have any sterling out, but I do have a lot of sterling, period. You do? Yeah, I have a lot of single earrings, I have some rings, and I have some charms. So if that's something you'd be interested in, I'll be happy to bring it out for you. Um, I would be happy to take a look at that. And okay. also I like to ask, while we're on the subject, if you have sure. any old coins too. I like, I'm a coin collector. Just a second, I'm gonna run in and get cool. Yeah, and back. I'll give you a fair price for anything. Oh, so. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I will say off the bat, maybe I shouldn't say this, I should be more uh, poker faced about it, but I, I'm not 
as familiar with coins as other things. Well, I can show you how I get the price. I'll go on eBay and see, show you what's sold in the, okay. in the past, and then I'll, that way you know you're getting a fair price. Getting a fair price. Oh, yep. yeah, sure, sure. But also, just um, I did find, and this was another guy that had come by, um, was looking for coins, and I had no idea, but he told me. He found a nickel that was, what year was it? It was an old nickel. Mm -hmm. um, and it had an, uh, he said it was very rare, just above the capital, maybe, or below it, an S stamp. Oh, yeah. And so like, that would be a 1942 to a 1945 yeah. war nickel, they're called. They have 35% silver in it. Yeah. So they're not really valuable. No, not valuable. So but much, they're but more, more than rare, a nickel. Yeah, the rarity that you yeah, yeah. see. Mm -hmm. um, not the core. Yep. Uh, I have some silver jewelry pieces, too. Oh, yeah. Over here? I'll, I'll get them out of the garage. Oh, yeah, I'll be I happy to. I have to very many people. Well, I'm lucky then, because I'm, I'm all into that. Yeah. You know anything about these old marbles here? Did you see these? Yeah, I was going to look and see if any of them were that, uh, where they glow. Oh, the uranium glass. Yeah, but I didn't have time. I don't think they, they us they're usually green. Yeah, no, I was just feeling that one. It felt kind of. It's not really round. They, but what I'm thinking is they might be old and may, might be valuable. I don't know, because look at the case. Yeah, I think the more valuable ones are like these maybe. What would you want if I, if you were to sell that? Is there a price for that one? Uh, probably eight. Okay, I'll, um, I'm gonna do that's... some research because I know nothing about marbles. Okay. And I'll let you know if that's a good deal. Thanks. Sure. My, my name's Shane. Shane, I'm Trish. Nice to meet you. And this is Lori. I'm Fellow Marie. treasure hunters. Hello. Oh, yeah. I love treasures. Oh, my God. I didn't. I haven't had a chance to look. I can tell you right now what you got. Okay. If you want to learn something, you can I come do. over here. Always. All right. This is pretty cool, actually. Okay. These are my favorite coins. Now, this is my birth year, 1976. Oh, is it really? Yep. And they're not worth anything. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately. And, I mean, they're worth 50 cents. Yeah. They're not, they're not <laughs> silver. Everything you have here is not okay. silver. Okay. Okay. These are uh, Eisenhower silver dollars. Okay. And they do resell for more money sometimes. Yeah. I remember I had like a hundred of them and I sold them on Craigslist for like 200 bucks. Um, but they're worth a buck. Okay. You know, they're not yeah. silver. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So, so here there's no, there's no silver there. Okay. That's silver. The one inside is silver. Yeah. Actually, this one might be silver too. I think it is. Yeah. Um, but the, here's the, here's one thing I will tell you though. I have found that um, even though it'll say silver, like it has the 925 stamp, there are some out there that are right. they've done that and they've completely it's like, fake. Like if it says 925 S, yeah. that's China silver. It's not. Oh really? Yes. Okay. These are all just like single earrings, but you might find a treasure or two in here. I didn't know. Okay. If you're interested in looking, and I have no problem pulling that out. I know well, that well here's, sure. here's the thing. I know that we're both treasure hunters, so yes. we know that we're both looking for a good deal. Yep. But I'll, I'm not going to... And normally, if I found yeah. a bunch of silver like this, I would offer to buy everything. Yeah. I just want to buy, like, two or three rings just for my video. Yeah. Um, and I'll give you exactly what they're, what they're worth. Okay. So if that's cool, we could do that. Yeah, if you pick out a few, I will give you a very good price on them. Cool. Um, absolutely. Unfortunately, it's not real. <laughs> yeah, it's not. These Louis Vuitton bags, they have to be perfectly perfect and this one is obviously a fake but uh just interesting to show on camera she's going in the house to bring some more stuff out her husband's a wastewater uh cleanup guy and he found a bunch of like gold rings and stuff when they were cleaning out the sewers um i told her basically yeah i'm just gonna buy a couple of rings because i mean if i bought all this it would be hundreds of dollars but i'm just gonna pick like maybe two or three rings In this bin, she said it's mostly costume jewelry. Um, there might be little pieces of gold and stuff in here. It would totally be worth uh, taking the time to look through this if, yeah, see, she knows what she has. A lot of costume jewelry though, but this is sterling. Lots of silver. That's pretty cool actually. Maybe she'll give me that for a good deal. So I grabbed these four items. And the marbles. I don't know what these are, we'll research these later. They look pretty old. So this lady's awesome, she's, this is a real Louis Vuitton bag. 
right here. I think it is too. Look at the stitching there. It's beat up, obviously. Yeah. It's been well used. Yeah, everything in there is perfect. Every little stitch. Thanks for thanks for showing that to me. That's really interesting. And even though it's beat up, it's still really valuable, I'm sure. So I found this one living in Jackson Hole a million years ago. You found this? In an alley. And I was oh, so badly wow. for the person that lost it. That is what, 20, that's 18, is that 18 karat? I think it's 20, or 12, or 14, excuse me. Oh yeah, it is a 14K. Yeah. Wow. And this one And is, that's heavy. It is heavy, very. And then that one is the one my husband found in the sewer. Wow. I know, right? So I've found some cool stuff in the sidewalk cracks of New York City's Diamond District, but nothing big like that. That's insane. It is. And when he came home, he's like, do you think this is real? And then I just started looking at it. <laughs> yep. Like, yeah, There's the, the marks right in there. Yep. Well, here you go. Thank you very much. Do you want a little bag the, or anything? Thanks for the great deal. Um, No, I'll just throw it in my pocket. Oh, sure. Okay. I know. Uh, this ring, I love this ring. The knot. I think that's such a cool looking knot. Yeah, I just grabbed, I honestly, I just grabbed three random ones. Yep. That is cool. That is cool. And then those initials, do you know anybody with those initials? Um, what is it? CWS? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe one of my subscribers wants to buy it. Oh, yeah, for sure. CWS. It's, uh, I'm not even sure what that is. Yeah. Some kind of a little clip. I think it's a monogram. Yeah, it's like a, I think it is a tie clip. Cool. Yeah, and, tie clip. Um, yeah, keep it in place. So keep the back from flying out from behind it. All oh, right. And let me show you guys real, really quick before you. All right, guys. Those ladies kept me there for about an hour. And Lori, I'm sure you're watching. Um, she said she's going to subscribe. So that's awesome. Um, and she went ahead and actually, when I was buying this silver here and talking to Lori, she went ahead and did some research for me. She said that that brown one right there, sorry about the blur. She said that brown one could be worth up to 30 bucks just for that. And she sold me the whole thing for five bucks. So, I mean, these ladies are awesome. I got these uh, three rings plus this awesome CWS tie clip. It's all sterling silver for 20 bucks for all four of them. And I think that's a great deal. And we still have like four yard sales to go. All right, we're at the next one. Doesn't look too great, to be honest. I drove by and it looks like a bunch of like car parts and around the corner. And then here's a bunch of tubs sitting here. So take a closer look. You never know. Hey, how are you? good. How are you? Good. Oh, cool. What was that? Any price tags, just ignore. Oh, okay. They're not, they're not priced for the drop Okay. That's pretty interesting. Las Vegas poker chips. Yeah, I saw the car parts and stuff over there. Okay. Do you guys have, um, I like to ask um, if you have any jewelry or coins. I'm a coin collector. Do you have anything like that? Okay. No, we don't. I have jewelry. I just haven't gone through it. I really should. Okay. All right, I got this thing of like Las Vegas souvenir poker chips um, for five bucks. And there's, I don't know how many are in there. Does it say? There's gotta be at least a hundred of them in there. And I looked on eBay and they were selling for about 20 bucks. So this might be like a $15 profit. That's just a guess, but I'm pretty sure it's a good deal. All right, guys, I actually decided to finish um, there are a couple more yard sales, but they're kind of on the other side of town. So I decided to stop and get some food. If you're ever in a Lakewood, Colorado area, definitely stop here. They got like the best sandwiches in town, 100%. It's always real busy though, but totally come here. All right, guys, so I am just going through a lot of this stuff. Um, just trying to do some research on it before I continue on with the video. Like all that jewelry that I found at that one place. Um, this is the silver. But this stuff is not silver or anything. It's just... it. I thought it could have been silver, so I grabbed it and threw it in the pile. I got the entire lot for 30 bucks, so, you know, some junk is... It's okay. I thought for sure that would have been silver. What else? I was hoping this thing would have been silver. It's super heavy. Um, like this, I thought it was silver. It's not. But this is all sterling. This is nothing. And then over here, it still needs to be tested. I'm not 100% sure. These things, I'm pretty sure they're not silver. I thought they were at first because of this one, but then there's two others and they have like enamel on them. And that would, I mean, 
I'm still gonna test it to see if it's silver or not, but there's no markings on them. Get these gems and this little tiny cross. Um, this ring, it says $5 on it. I thought it was gonna be silver, but it's apparently nothing. It just looks like cast metal. And this thing here, it does say Mexico underneath one of the charms. And the lady swore up and down it was sterling, but I didn't see any markings on it, so I'm gonna test that as well. But that's not why I started recording. The reason I started recording was because I was going through these, these old buttons, this, this thing of vintage buttons. And I'm finding some pairs here, and I did a little bit of research, and some of them some of them can be valuable, like Victorian ones, and like, you know, but I don't know enough about it. I'm just kind of organizing, and as I was and as I was going through the can. I'm not even done yet. There might be more stuff in here. I grab this, and I'm like, oh, okay. What is this? A strange button, right? Well, it's not a button. This is way better than a button. I don't know if you could read that. It says Baylor 14 Carat. So I did some research. I tested it. It is gold. We have a gold ring that we found. Um... That's awesome. Also, this thing here says sterling on it. It just says the sterling crown. I don't know if that's silver or not, but I have it over here. I also found another ring in there. This one's obviously not silver or gold or anything because it's all like stained and tarnished and there's no markings in it. But I mean, like, what are the chances of that? That's awesome. And also over here while I'm at it, this is gold too. It's very light, but it says 14K, like up here on the on the top. It says it's very small lettering. It says 14 carat. So pretty good so far. I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll get an actual look at all this stuff up close. All right, here we have all those sports cards. I did, I did enough research to know that rookie cards are more valuable. I looked through everything. I didn't see anything. Um, I even, you know, I actually found some of these unopened North Carolina trading cards, first edition. Yeah, they sold for like four or five bucks. And, you know, I, I did check individual cards. A lot of them sold for like a dollar a piece. And I'm not going to be listing each individual one. That's way too much time. So I'm just going to list everything for, you know, I'm started at five bucks. I didn't see anything super valuable but i also have no idea what i'm doing as far as baseball cards i thought i would learn more but all i learned was there's a whole bunch more to learn all right also on ebay is going to be uh these really awesome they're like super premium heavyweight uh casino las vegas chips there's a total of 270 chips each stack is 25 and then there's a few extra of the orange, and there's a there's ten of the yellow ones. Um, some of them are still in their sleeves, the protective plastic. I've seen you know similar auctions where it only had like two stacks of like fifty of them for fifteen dollars. But I'm gonna start the bidding for all two hundred and seventy at fifteen dollars. I only paid five bucks for it, so any profits a plus. And I also need a price for the end of the video so um yeah we'll call this a ten dollar profit it's probably going to be much more than that but we'll just call it 10 bucks this i'm keeping All right and as for the button lot here this is everything that was in that coffee can that was not buttons this little thing here inside the gold ring it's actually good for one fare for the inglewood colorado bus I mean, probably back in the 1950s or something, maybe the 60s. I have no idea. I'll include that in the lot. Also, this, this ring here, it's not silver or anything. I looked, it's just crusty. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff here, including these sterling crown, whatever they are, and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm just going to include everything in this lot some buckles i'll go over it slowly so if any button nerds out there can identify something I'm not sure what these things are these actually might be pretty valuable because they have the 
the metal in the middle of them. I know the fabric ones could be collectible. Um, there's just so much to learn about these. These ones are actually metal right here. I'll take detailed pictures and post it on the eBay listing. So that was pretty interesting right there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to start the, the bidding at. I was looking at other lots that are much smaller than this, and they were selling for around $20. So I'll probably start this listing here at 20 bucks for the lot. So we can call that a $15 profit minimum. Uh, this thing here, Singer Adjustable Zigzag Attachment. She charged me $2 for it, and these are selling for 40 bucks on eBay all day long. So I'll call that a $40 profit. The marbles I posted on a forum. I'm waiting on those people to help me identify these. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for all this silver here. This I'm going to list on eBay in case one of, one of you guys want it. Um, it does have the CWS initials on it. It's kind of old school tie clip there. Sterling silver. Um, I'll list that on eBay. And then all the silver... Here and here, I'm going to weigh it all up and we'll get a scrap value for that. This is junk and this is gold. This is gold. So I have to weigh this up. They're both 14 karat. And that right there, I'll tell you right now, is going to pay for any all the money that I paid for all this stuff. This, These two things right here are going to more than cover it. And then I still have to test this stuff. Also, I totally understand it's hard to get a value for this stuff if I haven't really sold it yet. So in the top pinned comment or in the description of this video um, I will update it once the eBay listings are finished so we actually get a value on it now it's hard to say until it's actually sold all right we got 46 grams of sterling silver and then I'm gonna weigh up the gold right now and 5.6 grams of 14 karat gold. So I'm gonna write down those numbers. Oh, actually, I forgot about this stuff here. All right, that's another 21 grams of silver, sterling silver. So that's like a total of 67 grams of silver. This is all junk jewelry. This is some testing that I did. Um, I'm going to write those values in and yeah, we'll get a value on it. All right, guys, it is the next day. And yesterday um, I went ahead and posted detailed pictures on like marble forums and button forums, trying to get the experts to comment and maybe give me a roundabout value on this stuff. I didn't get any responses. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to list the buttons for $15 on eBay. I'm going to list the marbles for $15 on eBay. The baseball cards, five bucks. The poker chips, 15 bucks. 40 bucks for this. This I can start at like five bucks. And of course, the scrap silver I'm gonna keep for a future project. I'll be melting that stuff down. And same with the gold. Um, the value for the gold and the silver, we got um, $270 for the gold and $58 for the silver so yeah pretty good um, it's a total of about a $400 profit um, at the very minimum that's if this stuff sells for the price the minimum prices on eBay that I'm listing it for I'm sure a lot of it will go up but yeah it's a minimum of a $400 profit for that day it's always a lot of fun to get out there and do some treasure hunting guys uh, I find so much more stuff at yard sales than I do digging you know, breaking my back with a metal detector for, you know, hours and hours and hours. So if you guys want to bid on anything here, definitely check out the link in the description. I'll put the eBay link down there. And I will update the top pin comment with um, what this stuff sells for, because most likely you'll be watching this much later after the eBay auction is already over. So that way we can have a total value on this entire lot for today. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like treasure hunting, definitely subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that actually watched the entire video. So thanks so much for that. It really helps the show. 
Also, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right here. If you like this video, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and also checking out the video I have linked right over there. It's very relevant to what you just watched, and thanks for watching.